Hi, I'm Mary Crafts with Culinary Crafts, and a thank you to Bright Access to once again having us here to give you a few tips on planning your wedding. Today I'd like to chat with you a little bit about the receiving line versus mingle. I get this question every time I meet with a bride. Should I do a receiving line? I don't want to do a receiving line. The mom says, you have to do a receiving line. And the groom's saying, hey, I just want to mingle around. Well, so what should you do? It depends on your wedding reception. If you have 200 or less guests, you really can do a mingle. No need for a line, no need for formality. Just mingle and enjoy your guests throughout the evening. However, if you have more than 200 guests, I might reconsider that line. If you have more than 300 guests, you might as well pick a place because they're going to make a line whether you want it or not. So about five years ago, I started doing what I considered the best of both worlds. I put this right in your invitation. Receiving line from 6 to 7, mingle in music from 7 to 9. So those people who love a line come at the beginning. Those people who hate the line come at the end. Myself, I'm always at the end. And this way you can get the best of both worlds. No one feels like they were left out not being able to find the bride and groom. And of course those who don't like that come later just for the fun part. Now a good way to end your line, people say, well how do I end this line? If you have it in your invitation, they already know this is going to be happening. But about five minutes before we end the line, our maitre d' will simply go through the line and let the guests know we will be ending the line because the bride and groom are going to be having their cake cutting. Once the line ends, we quickly take the bride and groom over to the wedding cake and then we ask the parents to walk the line and greet guests quickly and invite them to the cake table and let them know that you'll be greeting them afterwards. These are just some of the ideas that we can share with you in our personal consultation. Check us out on our website, www.culinarycrafts, and follow us on Facebook for this and other great tips for your special wedding day. Culinary Crafts, 26 years of making your dreams a reality. You won't regret, I'm lost without my Juliet.